St. John's County family is honoring their daughter's legacy after she was ripped from their lives. 13 year old Tristan Bailey was murdered two and a half years ago. Tonight, her family held a gala for the Tristan Bailey Foundation. On your side, Zach Wilcox was there to share the next chapter in Bailey's story. We just had moments where we kind of felt overwhelmed that we're even here because of the loss of Tristan. A lot of emotions and memories bubbled up over the past few weeks for Forrest Bailey as he got everything in line for the inaugural Tristan Bailey Foundation Gala and Golf Tournament. Thoughts of his teenage daughter, who was stabbed to death in May of 2021. It, it is a lot, and we handle it a lot with each other. Uh, we have breakdown moments earlier today, last week. The Bailey family powered through those moments so Bailey's legacy could live on with a positive impact on the community. The four pillars are really reflective both of Tristan herself as well as our family. <laughs> The new Tristan Bailey Foundation is raising money for four initiatives, scholarship, victim advocacy, self-defense, and social media awareness. Obviously, there was a lot that happened with social media uh, where, again, that's how she got exposed to the dangers that night. So we want to better educate on social media. The Baileys took a minute during the gala to thank some of the people who've helped them get through the past couple of years. That gave way to an auction for the foundation with things like a fishing trip, motorcycle, and autographed Jaguars helmet. Probably the best thing for us is we see a lot of Tristan's friends and some of the families that she was so close with. Everyone dressed to the nines making a sea of teal, Tristan's favorite color. Tristan loved herself a really good party, so with all of the cheer competitions, the end of the year banquets and all of that, she absolutely loved that. I think she would see that we're really trying to focus on having an event that is fun and vibrant and energetic, but is also really focused on doing good things. In St. John's County, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.